It's Spooktober. And there is nothing scarier than unemployment. And that is why today we are talking about AI metal. Oh, hell no. We're not here because we're free. That's right, AI is taking over. We have things like Dolly 2 creating art that's literally surpassing even the highest level of artists. And let's be honest, in music, computers have been taking over long before now with drum sampling programs putting drummers in the job center and then bass sampler programs coming next, putting bass players in the job center and guitar players, we thought we were safe, but no. We're not even safe because we have guitar sampling plugins now that have taken over. You might be thinking, what's next? Vocal samples? Well, that'd be kind of difficult. And granted, we do have a lot of choir samples. And now we have skipped all that and just decided, you know what? Computer, just make me a song. I don't want to have to play guitar. I don't want to play drums. I don't want to play bass. I don't even think of me trying to sing. Make me a song. And this is now why we have AI generated metal. So we're gonna look at some tracks today that have all been created by AI. And we're gonna see, I gotta go back to the job center to tell them why I need three jobs instead of two now. So, let's dive in. Ha, suck it. You thought you were gonna take my job and every other producer who ever picked up an instrument thought you were gonna take a job, well screw you. Well guys, we don't gotta worry. AI ain't got shit on us. But wait, have you seen this live stream by chance? Show me. Well, fuck. Well, it's over guys. We tried our best. We thought we could outdo robots, but we can't. Guitar, I'm so sorry. I tried my best. I really did. There's no place for us here anymore. It's over. The world as we know it is done. I'm packing my bags, it's over. We tried so hard, we got so far by the end, it didn't even matter. I'm out of here. All right, so before you give up on existence and you know, start going into conspiracy theories about AI, let's, uh, let's break this down, this gent AI sort of idea. And first of all, we gotta be frank with ourselves. Gent was probably always gonna be the first genre that was gonna be subject to AI. When we go back to bands such as Meshuga, let's be honest, it was never really about the melody when it comes to songwriting. It was more about the rhythmic structure and the percussive nature of the guitar play. And for AI, that's quite easy to, you know, interpret and reproduce. That's what it's done here. Even listening to this, we can already pick up some things that the AI probably heard and thought was probably the easiest thing to do. One of them being is that the bass, the guitar, the kick drum are all pretty much in sync with each other, which for an AI kind of relieves a bit of heavy lifting because it literally means that there's three instruments in total that all do the exact same thing. And it just makes it easier for it to interpret. Secondly, with this gen thing, there's no vocals, which is already probably one of the biggest things that an AI has to deal with when it comes to trying to, you know, produce a metal track. And metal vocalists, for the most part, are so dynamic and have a humongous breadth and scale of different variations in singing and screaming and growling. And a lot of vocalists, let's just use like Will Ramis, he's, he's pretty famous right now. Now it's terrible that all these vocalists that are constantly pushing those limits of what a vocalist can do. And as such, AI is always gonna struggle with that. You got a band like, let's say, Whitechapel, whose vocal stylings range all the way from the subtlest of cleans, all the way to the most disgusting of gutturals. And AI is gonna struggle to find sort of that median 
between them to, you know, reference and then try and reproduce. Those are a couple of things. Um, also, uh, looking at the description for this particular one, we can see that this AI is specifically referencing bands like Sugar, Periphery, Tesseract, Animals as Leaders. Pretty much the go-to bands in the gen category. And when referencing all those, of course, there's gonna be a lot of overlaps. Well, they all stem from the Meshuggah way of writing where it's like very percussive, very genty. You've got definitely one of the melodic aspects of periphery there as well. But from listening to it, it still just feels like it's more the percussive side they're focusing on. And also the symbols wise, probably here it's usually a very straight 4-4. But what we can get from this is that as long as AI has reference, yes, it can reproduce. It's kind of taking all these references, trying to find kind of a formula in it all and then outputting what it thinks is the correct representation of all these references. No, honestly, it is impressive to see how far AI has come and also just how procedurally generated metal has come in general. I'm honestly not too worried because at the end of the day, I still rather see a real band perform live. Like, let, let's be honest, like for everyone in the comments, I'd rather go to a concert with a humongous screen up front with just some visualizer and music playing from there that was AI generated. Or would you like to see my sugar live and actually performing in front of your eyes? I know my answer and I have a strong suspicion you would know it as well. So this was just sort of like, uh, I guess a quick-ish video about my thoughts on AI generated metal. I personally am not worried about it because at the end of the day, people will still want to hear people perform. And I think us humans, we're very good at noticing when something is a bit too perfect. And no matter how close AI gets to trying to replicate that, I really don't see it ever being as good as just seeing a good old fashioned old band perform. This was a short video about AI metal. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll leave the links down below for the AI uh, metal that I was listening to in this uh, video. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, stay hydrated and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.